When I learned about this math ratio, it changed my life. Okay, so I'm going to explain in this video a math and design phenomena called the golden ratio. It's also referred to as phi. So what is the golden ratio? Well, to help explain it, I'm going to put out this sequence of numbers called the Fibonacci sequence, which is really just the golden ratio in a sequenced numeric form. Now, to arrive at this golden ratio sequence of numbers, we just need to follow a basic math formula. And I'm not a math person, so we're just going to keep this very simple. Okay, so you just start with 0 plus 1 equals 1. And now to get to the next number in the sequence, you take the sum of that simple equation and add it to the last number in the equation. So 1 plus 1 equals 2, and then 1 plus 2 equals 3, and it's around this point that the ratio actually starts showing up. And as we continue to do this formula, we start arriving at a set of numbers. So 2, 3, 5, 8, and you see what we're doing? We're adding the sum of the equation to the last number in the equation, and we arrive at this sequence of numbers. And it's interesting that this sequence and ratio actually remains consistent no matter how long you follow this mathematical formula. And so this, this sequence continues to expand outward around the rate and the ratio of 1 to 1.6. Now to help give you an idea of what a 1 to 1.6 ratio is, compare it to a 1 to 1 ratio. So to make a 1 to 1.6 ratio, you just envision a little more than half of the initial line added to the line of the other side. All right, so this ratio of 1 to 1.6, and this is the ratio that's called the golden ratio, a 1 to 1.6 ratio. So this is what the golden ratio looks like as a rectangle, 1 to 1.6. And if we were to start making incremental golden ratio points within that, we can get an idea of what a spiral looks like when it expands outward at the same measured sequence. Now this is all well and good, but what does that have to do with everyday life? Well, a lot actually. And that's because when we look to nature, we see that so many things flourish when they go to the golden ratio design and when they follow this sequence. Growing and expanding to the rate of the golden ratio spiral allows the maximum amount of rain to be directed down to the roots of many plants. And remarkably, when you study nature, you see the golden Fibonacci numbers like 3, 5, 8, 13, all of that again and again in the seed pattern spirals of plants as well as in the number of petals. Next time you're bored and have a sunflower, uh, try counting the number of seeds in the sp sunflower spiral, the golden ratio, or, or maybe try something else with a spiral like a pine cone or pineapple. So we could spend all day counting the seeds of flowers and plants and fruit. I mean, you get the idea, but we don't just see this golden ratio sequence on a small scale. This ratio is the mathematical sequence in the spirals of our storms, tornadoes, hurricanes. These all spin in this golden sequence, 1 to 1.6. Even the waves can be measured using this ratio. But it doesn't stop there. Modern technology continues to be mystified by the far-reaching scope of the golden ratio. From the alignment of the planets to the spirals of our Milky Way galaxy, as well as the spirals of other ratios in planets. Now let's take this closer to home. I want you to hold out your arm and, and look at the distance between your shoulder and your elbow, and then from your elbow to your fingertips. Notice how your elbow, from your shoulder to your elbow is one, and then from your elbow to your fingertips is 1.6. Pretty crazy, huh? But it doesn't stop there. Now take that further. The distance from your fingertips to your wrist is one, and from your wrist to your elbow is 1.6. Keep it going. From the furthest tip of your finger to the bottom of your fingers is one, 
and from the bottom of your fingers to your wrist is 1.6. Now check out the spacing of your knuckles, 1 to 1.6. Are you getting freaked out yet? Think about this, the head to your belly button, 1, and then belly button to your feet, 1.6 from your toes to your knees, and from your knees to your hips. Golden ratio. Ever wonder why your two front teeth are so much bigger? Golden ratio. The pupils of your eyes, I mean, you name it, your whole body is the symphony of the golden ratio. In fact, as you are listening to this video, the sound waves are passing through your ear in a perfect golden spiral. Scientists have discovered that the golden ratio pattern is necessary for the human brain, the neural system, our sense organs, and our lung system. The golden ratio sequence is even in the helix of our DNA, and it forms the very rhythm of our heartbeat pattern. This is pretty amazing if you ask me. The, the universe is an incredible place. And to think that these beautiful intricacies of the world all hang on a stacked razor edge with the incomprehensible fine tuning of all these precise constants and quantities which allow the universe to begin to exist. I mean, it's unfathomable. No wonder we are naturally bent to worship a higher creative power. I mean, we are fearfully and wonderfully made and we live in a universe that is designed and hardwired to be life permitting. I mean, speaking of which, I think it's interesting that the golden ratio also comes up in the ancient biblical text. Scholars have noted that when you consider design measurements of things like Noah's Ark and the Ark of the Covenant, the golden ratio is an exact match to the measurements. Pretty interesting. Okay, so we've seen how the golden ratio is embedded into our life and even into our own heartbeat. So naturally, it's going to affect our, our aesthetics and, and the arts. It is believed that the Greeks used the golden ratio to achieve ideal acoustics. And many instruments are actually designed with the ratio. When you look at the amount of black keys and white keys on a piano, it should be no surprise that you see the golden ratio. And, and that's because the musical scales and notes align with the Fibonacci sequence. So scientists, mathematicians, and artisans have been aware of the golden ratio and have been incorporating it into their architectural and artistic designs throughout history. For some reason, designs tend to look better when composed and designed with the golden ratio. Look at iconic ideal Greek temples like the Parthenon in Athens. You can see that they use the ratio again and again. Painters have also been incorporating the golden ratio into their artistic designs because it gives the composition uh, a je ne sais quoi. Leonardo da Vinci was obsessed with it. So was Michelangelo. Even in the 20th century, you see ratios being used in painting, whether it be in the dimensions of the canvas or the placement of the focal point. And by the way, the golden ratio is one of the reasons artists don't like to line everything up in the center. But you don't have to go to Greece or to the Louvre to appreciate the golden ratio in human design. I mean, just look around your house or, or go to the grocery store. The golden ratio is used in product design, logos, and in branding all the time. It's a ratio that, for some reason, is, is pleasing on the eye. And it can be a great template for solving multiple design problems. I remember when I first started learning about the golden ratio, I, I began to see it everywhere. And it's really remarkable with how it comes up in nature and in the design world and, and how artists can greatly improve their designs by, by using its sequence. So now that you know about this mysterious sequence that pops up again and again, now go out and I want to challenge you to go and look and find places where you see this ratio. You don't necessarily have to like take around a measuring stick, but, but take pictures and, and notice where you see this ratio come up in design and in nature. And I think you will be surprised. And perhaps even this newfound awareness, it might even change your life.